Hey everybody, welcome back to Starbase, and yes, I have realized that the couple of episodes uh, that has been posted on YouTube whatnot, there's been a few that is back to back to back, and uh, it was because the day before, well today, um, yesterday for me, which was Wednesday, I was extremely tired, I don't know why, but I did not do anything at all. Um, literally just sat the whole day and watched youtube and try to get some energy back um so i kind of missed the whole day and uh, yeah i'm trying to get this thing rushed so that it could be ready for the eos con which is on the 29th 30th and um i'm getting very close to finishing it let me show you guys what we have today yep there she is although she is not done yet um there is still like this the YOLO code that needs to be added for the mining lasers and then there is the uh what do you call the uh where is it is it under devices networking no um it is cargo resource bridge yeah this this thing still i still need to have this somewhere i just don't know where i was thinking of maybe over here um yeah i think maybe over here somewhere i mean it it looks nice you know yeah i think that's gonna be good so um she flies she is currently she has the maximum weight i think and everything works um next thing is is basically the doors then the yolo code and that's what i'm gonna do today as soon as the yolo code is done then um the resource bridges and everything will just fall into place i want to cover up these engines but i'm not going to it's a little bit weird they used to sit around here but i'm just afraid like uh, uh, the the flame that f fires out might if we leave the safe zone might fry this thing over here as we can see it sort of was sort of the like line with each other but um yeah other than that everything it looks Hunky dory we got ourselves a nice floor over here and we got ourselves the uh, back end of this room um and yeah i mean there is still a whole place you can go to but i feel like it's not really necessary to have all this space if you're just gonna i don't know what you're gonna do in here except for replacing the fuel rods which i have uh, extras over here so um yeah i was thinking maybe down here somewhere maybe over here or down here maybe in this middle or somewhere oops i don't know where i'm gonna put the oral codes but i'm gonna have to add it have to add them somewhere and um get started on the programming for the mining lasers this is let that's literally all that needs to be done you know plating is done painting is done everything is done and it is first day first day for me so i'm gonna try and get this done before saturday and uh yeah see how that is gonna go um and yeah all right so let me jump into action and see what i can do and i'll be with you guys in a moment all right we're back and just the microphone just a scooch all right <laughs> so yeah welcome back everybody and everything is blurry and weird and uh yeah so i think it is done but there still can be some improvements if I say so myself, um, I sand for ones, uh, so, but uh, anyway, it's like a normal GPA system. Uh, I don't know if it still works, whatnot. The website doesn't want to load me, so I cannot really input the uh, codes and whatnot. But here she is. This is my new mining ship. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get her ready for the EOS, EOS con. Uh, which is going to be held over there. I don't know why everything else is blurred, but except for that. Weird. Um, but yeah, not much to look at, though. Um, it's very flat surface. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add, uh, what do you call it, like the ore transfer things, resource bridges. I have to add those. But uh, yeah, so as we can see, we have our mining lasers here ready to rock and roll. We have doors on this side, and I dubbed this the world... Wildebeest, um, because it's 
bigger brother or it's like more <laughs> complete brother would be the buffalo but uh, the buffalo was inspiration for the ship um so i just uh, decided to you know go for a similar look similar everything um but like with my own taste like a little my own type of um i'm gonna put it my own niche but i kind of wanted a, a, a in a mining ship all right so uh yeah this is how she looks like and uh, i can quickly give you guys a tour on the inside so we have our doors here um it's not as fancy as the buffalo is but it's you know i feel like this is going to be a one-time thing um what's nice is i've added a couple of uh indicators and whatnot we'll get to these buttons in a second so what happens is if i just start moving forward these doors close automatically thanks to this code over here there we go if you guys were wondering how that code looks like and this is what i thought out um there's probably a better code or something i don't know but that's what i kind of thought it will work at the bottom there 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 and there is where i put the um all mining lasers their um codes to work so i close this all off a uh, little bit of a nice staircase oh poop i forgot to add something <laughs> there was supposed to be another piece of stair there but i don't think i've welded it to the rest of the ship um that's why I like this kind of lag we hit over there it's not supposed to be there um but yeah we got our generators running here we got extras over here uh fuel rods and things uh at the back there's literally nothing there uh just more of these boxes you guys probably saw in the uh, previous videos um but yeah so let me show you guys we have our Control, control everything over here go this side this is our transponder which i added on in the ship somewhere so that will just indicate if our transponder is working or not maybe i'll just add a little light there just in case if the transponder works or not just to showcase it but i mean the button in itself is like our transponder is off that is on because yeah reasons uh over here come on over here is our uh ore collector as we can hear it works and then we have our range finder if we I turn the ship just a little as we can see i uh, don't know if you guys can see but we have a little range finder right there i think it's it would be better if we go this way so as we can see here's the range finder very nice little thing and i did get the mining lasers to work so if we get close there we go ow what the hell okay weird but that hurt me like in any way whatsoever i don't know i look fine <laughs> okay never mind but yeah as we as we can see like uh this is what i wanted as we get closer it will get closer and closer i don't know what is killing me but something is there we go so yeah that's what i wanted it will mine out at any distance uh up until the longest length of the beam i think this would be it but yeah so this took me about a few hours to work out the mining lasers um it's mostly been like adjusting this to correlate with the mining laser in itself or the um range finder so yeah it's been one hell of a ride but i think i'm i'm done i'm done with this ship i will come back to it uh, if you guys would let me know if i sand works and whatnot i don't know like like i said i don't know if they're um things um the website works whatnot like i can't find any info what I, whatever so yeah that's uh that's a wrap for me i'm gonna see if i cannot get this thing built into EOSCon way over there i think that is where it's supposed to be uh yeah i think it is but uh yeah there we go ladies and gentlemen welcome wildebeest into the world well i'm gonna try to build her <laughs> um yeah so this is wildebeest let me know what you guys think about her uh next 
episode i think there is a smaller craft i'm going to build which i have uh, an idea what i want it's just a little thing to uh which is very fuel efficient maybe uh but we just zip around in the um uh, like a station or something um at the k-bots there is a ship which is a port shuttle but it there's no information or anything available on it so i can't purchase it but it was one of them one of my most favorite ships to dart around at a um uh, what you call it a, sh a station like this so that will be our next project it should be a lot cheaper a lot quicker to do uh and we will have all the time in the world then after that is going to be a bigger long range cruiser go back and forth between stations and go exploring that kind of stuff and then i don't know what after that um you guys have to let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see but anyways that's it for me thank you very much and i will see you guys next time bye bye